Hello, Software Development Lovers. Today we have a big pleasure um, having Anastasia uh, Demianidi with us. Uh, she's an IT uh, product owner in Alliance Technology, and also she's an expert in product management, uh, team leadership and team management. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Katya. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Anastasia. Uh, could you introduce yourself and tell us uh, more about your journey and how you ended up being um, an IT product owner? Uh, thank you. Um, so I'm Russian, but I moved uh, to Spain six years ago. Um, and uh, five of these I work for Alliance Technology. I started as an uh, IT uh, tester, functional tester. And then I learned about insurance business and I wanted to grow. Uh, so I asked um, to become a business analyst and I was given this opportunity. Uh, so I uh, grew further. I was also doing uh, team leadership and um, I am proud to say that I developed key, for, uh, key uh, features, four key features for um, assistance, uh, road assistance project for France. And then I wanted to uh, grow even more and um, to make more impact. Uh, so I uh, became a product architect. And uh, there I was leading three teams uh, to develop a task manager for a global project, Alliance Global Project again. Um, and um, it was very challenging because uh, three teams and talking to stakeholders from uh, different um, organizational entities was really uh, interesting and challenging. And um, uh, then um, I wanted to be closer to delivery team, so I switched to product ownership. And uh, uh, now I'm uh, leading teams for provider portal uh, for motor and non-motor service providers of Allianz Insurance Company. And I'm really happy to be there. <laughs> Wow, sounds interesting and uh, very exciting. And um, so what is your main expertise this year, let's say? Because every year it seems like uh, you do a lot of new things. So right now, what is your main focus? Um, I recently did a course on uh, project management, so PMP. Um, and uh, um, I want to grow in that direction, in management direction. And uh, soft skill wise, I uh, learned a lot uh, for negotiation, communication um, and leadership, how to motivate uh, teams, because at Allianz we have that uh, internal certification. Um, it's called the Senior Associate Readiness Check. And um, there they uh, help us to grow and develop our uh, skills, our talents uh, to become a better leader and a better manager. And with my uh, mentors and with my Agile coach, um, I was able to, to grow and to pass this certification. Um, so I'm really grateful to the company for this opportunity. Sure. Wow. Sounds like you never stop growing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Always new challenging <laughs> challenges. Yeah. And uh, wow. I'm uh, never bored. <laughs> never bored. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In IT, we have so many opportunities to, to try new things and it's really amazing how we meet new people from different cultures, different genders, uh, different um, educations and uh, you can learn from this cultural exchange a lot. And also we are so free to, to create and to find solutions for different um, issues that we face that it's just uh, great to be in IT. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, talking about, uh, let's say, biggest uh, keyword, the biggest trend uh, of this year, uh, ChatGPT. Um, actually, a lot of professionals say uh, that they use it in their daily work, in their uh, working life. And some, especially the ones who are in health, insurance, banking, uh, banking industries, say, um, say that it is uh, illegal right now to use it. So do you use it for your personal purposes uh, or like to organize yourself or uh, do you use it as, a, as your personal assistant, let's say? <laughs> It, indeed, um, uh, at work we cannot use it uh, and we should not, uh, only if it's uh, um, our own instance of an artificial intelligence tool, then yes, we do use artificial intelligence. For example, for provider search, we use uh, artificial intelligence for ratings of providers. Um, and uh, But uh, me personally, I use it um, 
chat GPT for private uh, purposes. Uh, like uh, I uh, like to search how I can get to some goal, how I can uh, become something else, how I can learn, or even it can summarize books for me. Um, and uh, because if there is a lot of information, then it gives me um, the, the correct amount that I need right now. So yes, I do use it. <laughs> it's a great tool. Yeah, I use it as well. It mm -hmm. saves so much time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Indeed, yes. And um, so analyzing um, these first um, uh, months uh, of the year, so what would be your biggest highlight, your biggest insight? Um, mm -hmm talking about software development industry, talking about your current projects, um, what would be the, the main thing that you would say, that this is it? Well, first of all, personally, uh, I'm proud that I passed this senior associate readiness check mm -hmm. and, and uh, I'm now a senior associate at Alliance Technology. And um, I will keep growing and uh, continuously developing my, my skills uh, so that we deliver uh, value to the customer. And as trends uh, in IT, indeed, I see um, AI uh, um, and uh, um, well, a AI uh, is used a lot, uh, not only uh, at Alliance Technology, but at uh, other companies. I see that they also use it for, for, for example, for taxi rankings, mm -hmm. uh, for, to find the, the nearest and the most appropriate uh, taxi, for mm -hmm. example, they also use it. So this is the, the trend and we have to adjust and to be really fast and innovative mm -hmm. to use it as fast as possible, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and um, you mentioned uh, that you participate uh, in events. Uh, you, you, you're, let's say, uh, never stop growing a person. So you always uh, start new courses and workshops. Uh, so talking about this, uh, what would be your favorite events uh, or maybe learning courses, schools that you would recommend other uh, IT product owners or software um, experts in general um, mm -hmm. here in Barcelona or, or worldwide? Um, well, there is one uh, very good one which is called Influencing Without Authority. Um, I really liked it and I think it makes sense for um, all uh, kinds of experts uh, because it um, makes you understand uh, how to communicate and how to um, how to influence uh, the colleagues or, or um, other people uh, to come to the common target. So you need to deliver something, but uh, different people may uh, disagree with the with the solution or that uh, this uh, feature makes sense at all. Um, so somehow you can motivate uh, colleagues and explain why the feature is valuable and why it makes sense also for this colleague to um, implement this because um, his, uh, his motives and his targets then are aligned with the team targets and uh, this is how it works. So this one and also um, well there are quite some uh, LinkedIn learning courses that I did um, talking uh, to difficult people, um, motivating uh, people also is another good one. Um, these are the soft skill courses that I recommend, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and do you participate a lot in local meetups uh, or uh, you prefer more like global conferences? Uh, um, mm -hmm. Well, um, I used to go to testers meetups a lot here in Barcelona, um, but then in my current role, I don't go to meetups. Maybe I have not found the right one. Mm -hmm. um, I would be grateful for recommendations. Um, I'm subscribed in LinkedIn uh, to Product School. It's a global project, so I connect to their uh, webinars. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, and what about books? Uh, mm -hmm. Do you read uh, a lot about uh, your um, yeah uh, about your current uh, job responsibilities uh, and uh, soft skills and stuff like this, or you prefer more like lo novels and you read more um, short content like articles? Mm -hmm. 
So I prefer novels, <laughs> <laughs> but my, my mentor Italians recommended me a book um, uh, called uh, uh, Leading Agile Developers, Developing Agile Leaders. Mm -hmm. and, and that one I find, I just started recently, but I find it really helpful because um, indeed in many companies we have this um, issue that uh, the delivery teams work in a agile way, but the management is still managing um, us uh, in in a waterfallish way, um, mm -hmm. and it's hard to find common ground. Um, so uh, this book helps uh, overcome this issue and and uh, work together uh, more smoothly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, do you have any favorite uh, blogs or maybe Twitter accounts uh, or well? Mm -hmm. LinkedIn accounts uh, mm -hmm. that um, uh, that became, let's say, your uh, yeah part of your daily routine. <laughs> um, well, blogs no, but um, a podcast, negotiate anything. Mm -hmm. I like it very much. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not hundred uh, percent the best, but uh, it's a good one. Okay, mm -hmm. I didn't know about it. I'll check it out mm -hmm. for sure. <laughs> cool, cool. Thank you. <laughs> good. Um, and what about product owner experts? Um, let's call them influencers, uh, leaders. Uh, could you name uh, some of them, uh, the ones that really made impact uh, in your career? Uh, or um, it's more about content and what you actually learn um, over your journey, um, working on different projects and I, interacting with yeah. different people? I think it's more uh, learning by doing and mm -hmm. it's more my colleagues, other product owners and product managers who influenced me. Mm -hmm. uh, so from Allianz Technology and from external companies as well, uh, I, I know um, quite a lot of uh, very good product managers and uh, product owners um, who taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And um, so what's your plan uh, for the upcoming, let's say, months? Um, uh, do you have any other course in mind, the one, the, <laughs> the one well, you would like to learn? Uh, or is, is there any topic you would like to discover more? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, actually, I, I want to um, enhance uh, my, my leadership uh, skills. Uh, so I will be focusing on that, uh, on, mm -hmm. on leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, because I would like to become also a team lead uh, here at the Spanish office. So then it's not project related, but uh, more um, line management related. And I need leadership skills for that. All right. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, and last question uh, for today regarding uh, communities. Mm -hmm. Are you a member of any uh, community here or do you contribute to any initiatives here uh, in Barcelona? Mm, well, I don't know if it counts, but uh, at Allianz Technology, we cleaned the beach at Bar in Barcelona, so uh -huh. the Barceloneta beach. Um, and uh, After I, San Juan? <laughs> no, unfortunately, <laughs> before, and it was last year. I hope this year we can do something similar. Um, and uh, so uh, mostly I participate in uh, e the events organized uh, by Allianz, mm -hmm. by, by my colleagues and uh, me, myself, I organize mostly trainings and uh, knowledge sharing sessions and workshops. Um, but there are colleagues uh, that organize other stuff like, like this uh, beach cleaning, which was really cool. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing um, uh, your journey. Uh, and uh, uh, for me, you became a really inspirator, motivator. Right now, I, I want to uh, to start <laughs> new courses as well. And I will definitely mm -hmm. check uh, that podcast uh, that you recommended. So thanks a lot. And uh, let's keep in touch. <laughs> thank you, Katya. Thank you.